Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it.
I've been doing some research and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work though and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 litre capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another, and another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz. Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. Hello. Let me guess, Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I... I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have.
Enjoy. Come back soon. Just arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. A couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh. Well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming. Vibrant. Full of life and so optimistic for the future. <laughs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there, until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Omar. Uh-huh? They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on. Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since Porvenir pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss him off, you see. Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. I know it sounds Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, Paul Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the Board of Executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Veneer. Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. 
If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here.